The Orca Hub is looking to solve some of the offshore energy industry's challenges by developing robotic and artificial intelligence technologies that can help the industry be safer and more productive. It's all about taking humans out of the hazardous environments and putting robots in there instead. The Orca Hub is made up of five universities and a host of industrial partners from around the UK and brings together experts in the area of underwater robotics, flying robots, how humans work with robots, legged robots, and so much more. In the July of 2019, a team of researchers from across the UK travelled to London to exhibit our work at the Royal Society Summer Science Exhibition. For seven days, anyone who came to the exhibition was able to pop along to the Robots in the Danger Zone stand, where they could control one of our Cosmo robots and try to put out a simulated fire our limpet robots had detected. They could move cargo around and race around a miniature wind turbine, and even watch the robots autonomously do all of these challenges as well. We had a guest appearance on the weekend of the event with our animal quadruped robot strutting its stuff in the courtyard of the Royal Society. It was, all in all, a fantastic experience. You are now going to hear what some of our researchers have been up to since that exhibition. In an underground bunker near Oxford, Oxford Robotics Institute have been testing their latest platforms and algorithms for autonomous exploration. We also tested autonomous tunnel following with our animal quadruped robot. The robot iteratively selects the midpoint of the tunnel to avoid the walls and to avoid collisions with local obstacles such as roping and equipment. Cognitive load is the amount of effort placed on the working memory. It is generally caused by information overload while doing a task, as the working memory is limited for each individual. The information overload can make humans to error, and these mistakes can cause accidents with minor and major outcomes depending on the environment. In the OCA project, we hope to see human supervisors controlling robots deployed on the offshore environments carrying various sensitive operations. Humans may get overloaded with information in an emergency situation. In such a situation, it is pertinent to measure cognitive load or information overload and create systems that mitigate their cognitive load and reduce the chances of mistakes and our work is precisely working to achieve it. The limpet is inspired by the Patella vulgata, which is an animal commonly known as the limpet. Both limpets, the robot, and the animal can sense the environment, are highly adaptable, and can be attached everywhere. The current method for inspecting offshore energy platforms presents major risks to human lives. The limpet allows us to do inspection of these offshore energy platforms remotely without having to use people and so it helps keep people away from such dangerous environments. The limpet is a bio-inspired sensor that can measure different environmental parameters and acceleration and vibration and sound. It can also interact and work with different robotic systems. We have carried out a lot of limpet robotic interactions in the past, but my favorite one is using drones to carry and attach the limpets onto the offshore wind turbines. It's really impressive to see limpets flying. The work at Liverpool is all about safety. How to make sure a robot actually does what we tell it to do. As part of this, we run simulations, many, many thousands of them, to test the behavior of the robot in a huge number of situations. Now, instead of testing all the possible variations of a given situation, the approach that we are taking is to use an algorithm that searches for the situations and conditions in which the robot fails to operate safely. To do this, we are using what are called nature-inspired algorithms, a multiple particle swarm optimization. In this case, the swarm is a set of particles where each particle represents a single variation of the situation in which the robot finds itself. This takes the form of a list of parameters which influence the robot's behavior, and the particle is then moving through the dimensional space drawn by them. The part each particle is then aware of itself, the particles around it, and as a group move towards a situation in which the robot fails to operate safely. Once we find these situations, we now know not to go near them again. 
This could be different weather conditions such as a wind speed or sea spray or light levels, or it could be a type of terrain such as land or sea or around some kind of structure. The result is that we, as the users of the robot, get to set the behavior that we wish it to have and we can test to see whether it actually has this behavior or not. Hello everyone, I hope you've enjoyed seeing some of the exciting advances the Orca Hub is making developing our robots and artificial intelligence. With the COVID-19 pandemic, we now need smart machines like these for many more applications. Disinfecting hospitals, helping old people, delivering goods, constructing buildings, and even harvesting crops. So we're going to need lots of skilled apprentices, programmers, engineers, and scientists from all walks of life to design, build, program, and maintain them. I hope you might consider joining in.